y'all help me sing. Is that all right? Amen. And the rest of y'all, y'all can sing as well. So thanks, Sister Cross, for coming on up and singing today. Amen. And I got a hair all messed up. But we <laughs> <laughs> I love the Lord. blessing and healing our bodies. He didn't have to do it. And every day I get up, I tell him, thank you. Thank you for your mercy. And I thank you for your grace. Amen. God is yet in the healing business. I want to thank God for Ella Fulton being here today. Ella Kiel, Ella Fulton our assistant pastor, Ella Kiel. Amen. Elder Kiel, who, amen, did our prayer this morning. Thank God for Amen. All our, our deacon and Sister Matthews and Amen. lead us in devotion today. 
thank God for our mothers, our blessed mother, Amen. Mother Hicks, who sang this morning. Yeah. Mother Hickenbottom. Yeah. Mother, thank God for Mother Harris. Yeah. Mother Crenshaw. Yeah. Mother Bates. Yeah. Mother Phillips. Yeah. And thank God for all of you who are here. Yeah. Thank God for Prophet Butler. We thank God for you. Yeah. Amen. See him pray you get in and jump in with him. See Sister Crosby shout and jump on over there with you. Ain't nobody trying to entertain you. Matter of fact, we ain't even studying you. When God bless you, our mind is not on you. Amen. We on praising the Lord. And that's what we come to do to give God the glory. Amen. Worship is not about us. It's about God. We love him today. We just thank the Lord. Amen. Thank God for everyone who's in place, Trustee Polness, and thank God for our Sunday school superintendent. Thank God for Deacon LeBron as well. Amen. Thank God for Mother Phillips on the piano. Amen. Amen. Just thank God for everybody. Amen. I want to thank Lord for little brother Grant. Y'all didn't know Brother Grant Williams helped me play the organ. While y'all talked, y'all heard my foot hitting the pillow. He was doing it for me. And he was keeping up too. I said, I want the Lord to anoint him to play. Amen. Y'all reach your hands to him and say, Lord, bless him. Anoint him. In Jesus' name. When children come to you and say they want to help, you don't know what's going on. And don't know what's down the road. I want God to bless him. Amen. I'm, yes, sir. Yes. He looked like he knew what he was doing. I had to tell him, thank you. You, you done done enough. Thank you. <laughs> he said he prayed for everybody in the world. You don't hear children talking like that. What children you know pray for everybody? Some of the grown folk don't pray for hardly nobody. <laughs> but I said, so it's a blessing to hear children say that. Amen. Amen. I want the Lord to bless him. And I want y'all to encourage him and I had to give him a shout out today. Thank God for him being in place to help pastor. We give God the glory. If you don't mind grabbing your Bibles, and then grabbing your Bibles there in Jeremiah, the eighth chapter, verse number 20. We won't be here before you long today, but we just think if you don't have a Bible, you got your iPhone, iPad, we just give God the praise and glory for everybody who just come together. Amen. Thank God for our usher man in place, Sister Jones. Amen. Sister, Sister Lunkett, y'all just yeah. usher. Sister Ed might help y'all our church clerk. And I thank God for our church secretary, Sister yeah. Ike Page. Yeah. Amen. We praise the Lord. So glad to see Sister Pam all the way from Atlanta. Thank you, Mother E. Amen. We just adopted Amen. folk left and right around here. Yeah. But we thank God for all our members. Amen. We're yet praying for, amen, Sister Gladys Matches and her family. Amen. We're praying for Mother Bates and nephew. Yes. We, and no news is probably good news. Amen. But we know how to pray yes. for Brother Michael. Let's keep him lifted up. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't know we can find him. Amen. Ain't nobody lost on earth. Amen. 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 God will lead us to him. Amen. Are they trying to find him? Maybe you don't went to Texas and got him. <laughs> Brought him back to Mobile with the IV in his hand. And God is God is able. And ain't no sense of us saying God's a healer and don't believe it. God is a healer. And he's a sustainer of life. I know that for my one sake. And I want to, uh, if I will, encourage you in the Lord. This is Pentecost. Amen. This is a time where we rejoice in the Lord. Amen. We want you to be in that frame of mind that this is Pentecost. A jubilee for the saints of God. Are y'all all right? Amen. I know you have your white on, but it's jubilee for the saints of God. Amen. We are honoring God. He died on the cross that we might have life, that we might have it what more abundance. 
don't sit around people with the Holy Ghost and don't want the Holy Ghost. Right. We don't need the Holy Ghost. Yes. It's good to be in a church where folk are praising the Lord and feeling the presence of God, but don't you leave there without his presence. Amen. The church don't do nothing for you. You need to go home and get on your knees and stay there yes. till you be endued with power from on high. Yes. Amen. You need God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Don't think because I, oh, I felt a little chill. Chill ain't nothing. You sit in the deep freezer and you get a chill too. But you want the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost ain't no feeling. It's a lifestyle. It's a life. It's God alive in you. The Holy Ghost ain't a it. It's a him living inside of you. And when you would do wrong, the whole when you would want to do wrong, the Holy Ghost would lead you otherwise. The Bible says, my people know my voice. My sheep and the others, they ain't going to follow. When you have the Holy Ghost, he will lead and guide. And do you know that the Holy Ghost himself is a discerner? He knows when something is not right. Him in you knows when something is not correct. You ain't got to ask for somebody being sneaky. The Holy Ghost, whether you pay attention to him or not, he will lead and guide you. So in part, you, you, when you're not eating the right food, the Holy Ghost says, now you don't need that. When your body's not feeling fine, the Holy Ghost will tell you this is what you need to do. I came, woke up this morning with a terrible headache right here. And I told God, I, this, the, 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 I'm sick of the devil. Look like every time we get ready to go before you, the devil got to try. Take this little silly spirit that he's trying on the saints and make him leave the saints of God alone. That's what we got to pray. Just can't tell you, Lord, heal me. You got to call that spirit out to you. Because the devil always trying the saints. That's why the Bible said many are the afflictions of the righteous. But there's a but there. The Lord delivers out of them all. Y'all ain't gonna always have that grace, but y'all sure better take care of what you got. Y'all let me know if they ain't treating you right. Here's our scripture. You don't mind resting on your feet if you can. If you're not, I understand. It says the harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. I, I had a little subject. I don't know if it fit, but your past do notice. That's what I want to talk about today. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your word that we've hid in our heart that we might not sin against you. I ask that you let your anointing take full charge of this few minutes that we must delve in your word, Lord. Speak to me and speak through me. As I stand behind your sacred desk, because somebody want to be saved. Somebody want to leave sin alone and give their life to you and those who have lived with you that we will be in a rush to get closer to you and, and delve in your spirit and your anointing more daily in the name of Jesus. Set our hearts on fire for you, Lord, that there be a hunger for you, Jesus. God, we're going to ever love you. We're going to praise you. In Jesus' name, and let everyone that agree say amen. 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 The harvest is past. I know some of us, when we get them little phone calls, and we kind of know who they are, and we just look at the phone. We know what the call is about, because we don't want to answer it. We don't want to talk to little Juliet and Martha Sue and Beb, Mr. Benny about our bills. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. And they just keep calling. And they keep regulating the call. And sometimes they put it on a, re a repo call. And, and you know, sort of, I know why they're calling. But I ain't going to pick up that call. Because they're just getting on my nerves. You, you could probably just tell them I pay a little bit at a time. But some of us, you know, we ain't going to pay nothing at no time. Y'all don't hear me. A past due notice will get you in trouble when it deals with your gas bill yeah. and your water bill. Yeah. Some folks like to get smart, but you just go ahead and turn it off then if you can't wait. And they say, okay, click. Yeah. 
while you talking, they done turn it off. They used to come to your house, they can do it from the station now. You sitting there being smart with them and you behind, uh, they turn it off right there while you're on the phone. And some of them don't care about turning it off anyway. But God is trying to tell the church, don't you get turned off. The Lord has mercy and grace. He said, I won't always shine with you. And I won't always beg you to do what's right. When you hear my voice, hard not your heart. Lord, be talking to us and we be ignoring God. The Lord said, I want you to join the church. I ain't going to join now because, well, to join the church ain't the biggest of it. The thing is, when you join the church, you got to get in the church. Yeah. Having your name on the road ain't enough for nobody. Yeah. It don't save you no more than a cat in a pet shop. Right. You got to come in here and do your work. Yeah. You got to get in the word of God and do your work. Yeah. You got to get down on your knees and fasten and pray and do the work. You got to put away the evil of your thoughts and doings and do the work. You got to sanctify yourself through the word and do your work. And don't you think it's easy all the time? Some of the stuff we have embedded down in our heart from years. God got to wait till we get ready to talk to us about it because, you know, we got some little stubborn ways. Oh, we cute as pie on Sunday, but don't you mess with us on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> oh, don't you try it on Friday evening either. Let one dollar be short on the check and we'll show you what we really mean. <laughs> that which has been in Ecclesiastes 3.15 is now. And that which is to be has already been. God requires that which is past. Yes. Right. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Amen. Before I was even born, there were preachers preaching behind pulpits. Amen. Telling folk to be saved. Do you know folk been hearing preaching ever since I've been a child? Yes. And I've been here for a good while. Yes. And some of y'all been here longer than I have. Amen. And they've been saying, come out of your sin. Yes. Turn from your wicked ways. Yes. Give God your heart. Whether they spoke in tongue or not, they've been telling folk for years, come and be a believer of Christ. Come and give your heart to Jesus. We sometimes get stubborn and say, I'm going to do it. I ain't ready just yet. But you know what? And then they said this other thing. You know, the Lord ain't came back. Y'all keep talking about the Lord going to come soon. But now the Lord is showing you he coming for you. Amen. You were about time. God looking at your clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Young folk are dying just like elderly folk. Amen. They come to work one day, you don't see them the next. Right. Right. You used to talk about they have to wait till you get 85 to die. They living on the 90 and you dying at 25. Yeah. You can't time God with your little schedule. Every one of us in this building got a toe tag on us. Every one of us in this building got an expiration date on us. There ain't no need you trying to look for it. You ain't going to ever find it. But it behooves us to be ready when the Lord calls. You sit around looking at Sister Mustard and Brother Hamburger talking about they ain't say, don't you worry about them. Get your mind off them. Get your mind on Jesus. Yeah. I was looking at our bank accounts, but I know the Lord couldn't take me. Mm. <laughs> I got money in the bank. So did Rockefeller, and he died. But I know the Lord wouldn't take me because I'm poor on Section 8, and I'm just too poor to die. The poor done died too. Yeah. And they were through with Section 8 after that, so I'm sure Section 8 was very happy. Thank God they gone. Yeah. I could hear the educated say, you know, I'm, 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 I'm too educated to die. Yeah. I have my degree from Harvard and Morehouse, and I know the Lord wouldn't take me because I know how to read and, and, and or take the word so fine that when I read, I see people wiping tears from their eyes. God don't care how educated you are. 
ain't nothing like an educated fool. Because a fool that, oh, y'all ain't going to hear me. Has said in his heart, there is no God. And he don't care if you ain't got an education. God don't give a lick about it. Well, you ain't never got it. I can't read, but God wants you to be saved. Amen. Granddaddy might not have been able to read, but he heard what the preacher said. Grandmama may not have been able to read with the education, but she heard what the preacher said. And the preacher told them to do what's right, and they did what the preacher said. But now we so smart, we don't even want to read. We got the Bible. It's right here in front of us. We won't even read it. Amen. Bible said in Mark 4 and 22, for there is nothing he that shall not be manifest. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. You can't hide from God. You can put your snuff under the mattress. God knows where you put it. I have members that won't come to church, they don't know this, but I'll tell y'all, it's a secret. <laughs> the Lord let me see them driving right by me when I go places, and I said, look at that. <laughs> you can't come to church, but you go everywhere else you right. right. I'm standing in front of church, they driving by and don't even speak. I said, I know they had to see me. <laughs> I can't be that pretty that they can't see me. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. If the people knew what God showed me about, I see folk going all in the Chinese restaurant. They don't see me, but I see them. Because the Lord don't want me to be ignorant concerning who he got me over. He said, know them that labor among you. I know my members that come late for Sunday school by name. I know them that don't come to Sunday school by name. I know them that come on the first and third Sunday. I know them that miss communion every first Sunday because they I don't know why they keep missing it. The Lord has prepared a meal for them, and it's not our meal, it's the Lord's meal. So if you're not right, get yourself right so you have communion with God. You worry about us, you should be worried about God. Yeah. He said, as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Yeah. You got to tell Pastor Cox you shack it up. He probably already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but why you ain't putting me out? Because I want you to be saved. Yeah. Slipping and sliding. Yes, sir. Ducking and dodging. Yeah. Keeping and hiding. You think God ain't letting the preacher know? God ain't gonna have us ignorant. Oh, y'all ain't gonna, I better preach. Preach some y'all life. Preach something to make you happy. Lord said here in Isaiah 66 and 4, I also will choose their delusions. I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that which is which I delighted not. You see, you can come to church and be saved in front of us. But God sleeps in your bed. He all on the phone when you talking. Shh, don't you tell nobody, God. You done told God already. God sits high and he looks low. Yeah. Yeah. Folk done talked about the pastor so much and they don't know that they done talked about me. Because the person they talked to about me told somebody else and they came back and told me. Yeah. Did you know Shaniqua, Shaquika said this? Yeah. <laughs> Who is Shaquika? Well, Shaquika's kind of one of your members. Which one? And they said, pray the Lord. I said, pray to Jesus. All right. You have to be careful. Don't y'all know you don't know who can or who. You don't know who recording your conversation. That's why you need to shut your mouth and stay before God and live a holy life. 
You know I'm not crazy. You know when I'm talking to folks on the phone, I don't know who all on the phone. That's the I can't we go out to dinner sometime. You probably got four or five folks on that phone. <laughs> Y'all know I don't go out to dinner with folks. I dinner be at the church. I eat with the saints. I fellowship so y'all can see me drop my food on my clothes. The first time I meet out and put it with somebody, I, ooh, you won't believe what we saw. Both the lie on Pastor. But you can outlive a lie. Ain't no sense in nobody in this church trying to chase down a lie. You wear yourself out trying to stop a liar from lying. Let them lie, but you live right. Am I in the right church today? Philippians 3, 3, 13 through 14 says, Brother, and I count myself to have been apprehended. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. I press, yes, this is what Paul said, yes, sir. toward the mark yes, for the prize yes, of the high calling yes, of God yes, in Christ Jesus. Yes, Everybody in here ought to be pressing. Yes, sir. Stop worrying about what you used to do. Yes, Stop worrying about what happened in the day. Yes, Don't let nobody hold that over your head. They ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. You might have been a homemonger, but press to God. You might have been a liar and a drunk, but press to God. Folk will try to stop you when you're on your way to the kingdom. They don't want you to go to the kingdom because they ain't going anyway. Y'all never seen crabs in a bucket? <laughs> I wish I could. Y'all don't act like y'all know what I'm talking about. Have y'all ever seen crab in a bucket? When you put crab in a bucket, one of them always trying to pull the one that's trying to get out the bucket so you can be with the rest of us because misery love company. Number one, trustee, bonus. They shouldn't have even been in the bucket. Because that ain't their natural habitat. I'm going to tell y'all, if you take them same crabs in the bucket, y'all know. I'm just wasting y'all time talking to y'all. Because y'all already know. And put them back in the ocean where they belong. None of them fight one another. They're fighting that bucket. But when you put them back where they belong, they don't touch one another. Yeah. They're just as nice to one another. Yeah. They go on. Y'all ain't listening to me. When you are not in your right element, you get all confused, want to fight, want to hold. You know you ain't in the will of God. Come out your bucket. Get back where you belong. Keep pressing toward God. Yes, sir. Folk talking about old stuff you used to do. They see you trying to change your way. Trying to walk up the right path. I wish I could preach to y'all. They're always going to hold some over your head. They're not God. They never can be God. That's witchcraft. Do y'all hear me? When people try to make you a slave to them, that's witchcraft. And witches ought to be burned. And don't worry, they will be. So God don't want us trying to be in control of nobody's life. You married to a man, stop trying to act like you the boss. He's supposed to leave. He ain't got nothing but a third grade education. Get behind that third grade and make him go on to the fourth. <laughs> if she trusts you with the money, stay in your lane. You ain't spending nothing. He just trusts you with the money. He ain't tell you to be his ball. But I use it at my discretion. No, he ain't tell you to do that either. He said, I trust you. That means when you you be a good secretary. Y'all hear me? 
Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Because I ain't going to just talk about the women. We got some men that have lost their mind. Where are you going? You didn't marry her because she didn't need a daddy. She had a daddy. She married you because she loved you to be a companion. Not her boss. Not her. Y'all ain't going to help me. Y'all sitting there trying. What are you going to say, Nick? You better jump in and get out that little bucket. You're supposed to love one another, live one another. When you first met her, baby, I love you. Your little crooked toes, I just love you. Right. Your breath ain't smelling good, but I still love you. <laughs> if you what you don't start off doing, don't you end up with nothing. If you can't afford but a McDonald's bill, quit trying to go to Red Lobster. Your marriage got to be something you grow on. Your relationship got to be something you grow with. Trying to impress somebody. Pastor, I don't know. Why, why, why? She said, I'm supposed to take care because you told her that. You told her, I'm going to take care. You better watch what you say. Yeah. You tell somebody you will take care of them, that means I quit working. Yeah. And that's what they do. Then in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, I ain't going to preach on him. Come on, preach. He's a new creature. Yeah. Old things have passed away. And all things supposed to be unchanged. Yes, you ain't supposed to be still talking about you saved doing what you used to do. Amen. How are you saved and you yet cursing? How are you saved and you getting a drink? Y'all tell me how that works. You in church speaking in tongues and you shacking up. And getting high. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Y'all just like my little robe I'm wearing. <laughs> Bible said in Isaiah 64 and 6, we we are all as an unclean thing. Yes, sir. And all our uh, our righteousness is like filthy rags. Yes, huh? Yes, sir. We do all to fade as a leaf. Oh, yes, sir. And our iniquities, like the wind, yes. have taken us away. Wow. You got to watch this little crooked stuff. Amen. That'll mess you up. Yes, sir. It ain't the, the big vine, that, it's the little fox yes, sir. Yes, sir. that destroyed the vine. Amen. I started growing Glory. some yes, greens. Sir. I was so happy about my little Georgia green. I ordered a little peel things from Amazon. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was bragging Deacon Lord, they're coming out the ground, Deacon. Woo -hoo! They look so pretty and innocent. And they started growing. I said, Lord have mercy. I woke up one morning, I saw all these holes in my I said, well, what the devil's a liar. Trying to steal my heart. I mean, they were holy greens. <laughs> I got on the internet. What to do is say take some take some uh, garlic water and this is spray them. That didn't help. They didn't jar that garlic water. <laughs> so I said, go get some salmon duck. I bet you I saturated them. When I like a yellow bee, black, I did just eat them. And I got so I said, get, I was on. I, I got to call you back. I got a bee eating up my green. Next thing I know, he fell over. I said, oh, good for you. <laughs> Thou shall not steal. <laughs> I sprayed them so till they turned white. All kind of boogers just coming out the bottle. Y'all ain't listening to me. The other day, I saw a butterfly fly. I said, what a butterfly done? Because he going to go and lay his eggs so caterpillars can eat them up. Oh, oh, oh. But I spoke to them greens in Jesus' name. I said, God gave me this. I didn't do no growing before. I'm, I want to look. Do y'all know? I began to pray for my green. Yesterday I got out there. They done grow so. I done put them in separate pots. They look like they had died. And somebody said, don't water them in the daytime. Wait till evening. They'll grow at night. 
Yeah. I got to be, I, I said, look at somebody call me Far Farmer Billy, whatever. I said, my name is Steve. <laughs> You know me, I took it another step. When I took them out the big pot, I took it right on Steve Cox, just went right back and planted some more yesterday. All right. I said, I'm gonna have a garden on this back porch. Now all I need now is a security man. All right. I gotta quit. Right. I want to just encourage you with God put in your hand. You ain't got to give up when things happen. I didn't know what to do about the green, but I sought advice from them who knew. And when they told me a more excellent way, I followed, y'all ain't going to help me today, are you? I followed what they told me, and it worked for me. There's always somebody that can help you in God. There's always somebody, there's a saint always that can pray for you. You ain't never alone when it comes to having saints around you. And I ain't talking about the ain't that try to act like saints. You call and they start off speaking in tongues. Wait a minute. That's, I'm not trying to talk to Bubba. I want you to tell me how to grow my green. That's all right. When they there are some saints that will help you be a better saint. A lot of us are young in the Lord and had to learn how to put away stuff. But if you hang around those saints, you'll learn. Keep coming to church. Be on time for church. Come to Sunday school. Come to Bible study. Develop a Bible study at your house. Pray at your house. Have a time to spend time with God alone at your house. You can be saved in the church, but you need to be saved at home. And then Peter says, Acts 2 38. Come on, then repent and be baptized. Everyone. Listen at this. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you go down, you need to go down in his name. Don't go down in the water and don't have his name on it. When you got your house, you had to sign your name. Amen. When you bought your car, you kept telling me, this is John Doe. She mother was talking about John. We, we can find out where Brother Mike is. All I need is a car with full of gas and a, a bag of donuts and some chocolate milk. We find it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, they don't know where he is. Oh, but there's always somebody can find Michael. There's just too many people on this earth that know how to find out stuff. Y'all ain't talking to me. If the FBI can find a crook, the surely the saints can find these loved ones. Mother, I've been trying to find some of our members. They just don't know. I know where they are. Oh, I can, if I go to Walmart right after church, I can find some of them right there. He said, be baptized for the remission. The washing away of your sin. The erasing of your sin. That's why you get baptized. You don't need to keep getting baptized every week, but do get baptized. In the name of Jesus. And if you have not been baptized in the name, you need to get baptized 
in the net, and they need to say it, and you need to hear it. Amen. That you went down, tell me the name of the Father, Son, those are not, those are titles. If I call you mother, every mother can stand up in here. But when I call you Mother Harris, ain't but one mother. If I say Mother Crenshaw, ain't but one Mother Crenshaw. God loves his name. Then he said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I don't care how much I shake you, that ain't gonna give you the Holy Ghost. How many sure be shaking the folk? Come on, get this. Look like you ought to stop hitting on the folk before they slap you back. You can't make nobody get the Holy Ghost slapping on Come on, get him in there. That ain't the way the Holy Ghost works. Come on, baby, receive the Holy Ghost. You done slapped them so they got their mind off Jesus. <laughs> Leave them alone and let God do the work. You can't fill nobody with the Holy Ghost. You ain't got no anointing that you can give nobody. You know who's anointing? It is God. You are not the one that passes out blessings. They are God's blessing. Well, I bless brothers, so you ain't done nothing. God used you. All you was a male man. Ain't nobody congratulating a male man for bringing your check. You're getting mad with him if it's late. You probably don't even know your male man name. It's not that important, but the male, y'all help me. It's what's important. The blessing of the Lord is what's important. And if he wake you up in the morning, that's a blessing. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. You got a bed to sleep in. Yeah. That's a blessing. Yeah. You got your life, yeah. your health, yeah. and your strength. Yeah. You got food, yeah. clothing, yeah. and shelter. Yeah. That's why your offer should never be below $6. I'm going to name $6. <laughs> I'm going to give a dollar. I don't name six Thank God. Is. You at least ought to bring $6. And so many of us, God has done so much for. The doctor probably said you had cancer, but God said, no, you don't. It's not by the doctor's voice. It's by the Lord's stripes. Well, you got a tumor. That's what the doctor said. God said, I'm the God to heal you from all manner of sickness and disease. Yes. Now who's your boy you gonna believe? Oh, Y'all remember me walking like this? Yes. Y'all remember that? Jesus. The doctor said I had broke my hip. Jesus. Well what you think about this? Oh, Do that look like a broken hip to you? Oh, you just can't go on with the doctor oh, said. I got the cat scan that said it was broken. But I hadn't stopped doing what I normally do. But do that look broken to you? Whose report are you going to believe? Y'all know the Lord helped me do that right. I didn't do that on my own. I tried to be very careful, y'all. I ain't never had a, a, a broken hip. I said, is it fractured? Well, he said, it's broken. I said, well, glory be to God. And I'm out there trying to plant olive green, okra, hot peppers. Now, I'm supposed to have a broken hip. You're going to either believe God or believe man. If God said, I can heal you, you ain't got to ask the doctor what he thinks. Trust in the law. Trust in the law. With all of your and lean not to your own. But in all of your way, acknowledge him. And he shall. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. God gonna fight for you. 
Yes. Well, Pastor, does that mean we gonna go through stuff? Yeah. Yes. You don't go through a little stuff. Yeah. That's a part of life. Yeah. I said, Lord, I ain't never been through this. The Lord said, the Pope told me one well, you ain't never been this age. Right. <laughs> when I was 30, I would run like I was a scout. Yeah. Ran track, but I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> I got a little bit more sense. Now, if y'all want to run, you run on. See what the end going to be, but I'm going to walk. Take my pace. And if I get tired, I'm going to tell Brother Evans, let me use your cane, bro. You walk too fast to be having a cane in a way. While we're standing on those blessed feet, let's tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. For all your blessings. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let him know you appreciate it. Come on, tell the Lord, I thank you for my family. Thank you for my health. Thank you for letting me see another day. Thank you for helping me understand what's going on in my life. I may not know the answer, but you're the answer. And I appreciate you. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful God. We love the Lord today. And we praise the Lord. I want y'all to be encouraged.